Today's topic comes from an article from Construction Dive titled Tappan Zee Constructors Sues New York State Thruway on a $4 billion bridge project. Now to summarize, the article covers legal disputes on change orders. Tappan Zee Constructors, or TZC, consisting of Floor, American Bridge, Trailer Bros, and Granite Construction, has filed a lawsuit against the New York State Thruway Authority seeking $961 million for extra costs related to 1. Weather delays which occurred at the beginning of the project 2. Delays caused by a crane collapse in 2016 which caused TZC to speed up their work and 3. A third-party engineering firm hired by the state to review and approve decisions made by TZC is claimed to have negatively affected their performance. Now, the big question is what is the problem with all this? As large as this project is and its participating companies, there is surprisingly no simple plan that is being tracked and no metrics. Without a simple plan from beginning to end and metrics, there's really no way to know how much deviation was caused by these issues. How do we know this? Now first, the crane collapsed in 2016. That was five years ago. The weather delays happened even earlier at the beginning of the project and the third-party engineering firm had been supervising TCCs throughout the entire project. Yet all of these issues are only now being brought up. Now, legal issues often occur when there is no transparency in the project. When things are not tracked and measured promptly and in a simple manner, things become complex. In complexity, you'll have a lot of different opinions and therefore legal actions. When things are simple, legal issues never occur because it's already clear who's at fault. In this project, with the proper plan and metrics, TZC should be able to clearly show 1. The instances the third-party engineering firm caused performance issues. This could be as simple as showing the expected time for each review period and the actual time period the third party took. If the agreed and expected time period was one week, and the actual time period was one month, it becomes clear who's at fault and how much time was delayed. Second, the weather delays. The weather delays each should have been documented by the day with justifications as to why work was not acceptable on that day. This might be OSHA standards, wind speed, or maybe temperature that day. Each day this occurs though, the client should have been immediately notified for approval, and if disapproved, the client should be required to give an explanation as to why they disapproved. The third is the crane issue. It's very similar in documentation. However, the client should have been notified of the delay and should have been asked to approve the expediting of work for additional funds. If they disapproved, the client would have to accept the delay in days. If the crane collapse was the vendor's mistake though, then this becomes another issue. Now, if these things were tracked properly, all of the disagreements should have been dealt with when it happened, not years later. Now, the thing we all want to know is how can this be avoided? When we use the best value approach, legal issues and disputes on deviations to time, cost are never an issue. This is because upfront, the best value approach requires a detailed and simple plan which sets the project up for success. The vendor will provide this plan, which includes specific things such as one, client action items and expectations from the client. Two, assumptions made by the vendor with risk mitigation, and three, a detailed and simple schedule laying out all the dates and milestones associated with the cost of the project. After the client accepts the vendor's plan, the vendor will then track and measure their performance and deviations, which can impact their time, costs, and quality. The project and potential issues are tracked and reported on a weekly basis to the client. The day that an event occurs which causes the project to deviate in performance, the vendor will immediately notify the client with the proper justification documented in the weekly risk report. Now, there are always some misperceptions of legal disagreement and project issues when it comes to project tracking. The before mentioned method of weekly reporting has been done on hundreds of projects. The best value approach was utilized by the U.S. Army Medical Command on 619 projects, the state of Minnesota on over 399 projects, and the state of Arizona on 195 projects. The two biggest misconceptions we dispelled there were one, the project tracking and documentation is to protect the client. In tracking hundreds of projects, we have found the greatest source of risk and deviation is always the client. However, the person the client will blame first when deviations occur is always the vendor. 
This is why the tracking and documentation will primarily protect the vendor. But here's the thing, if done properly, this will also help the client as it will mitigate most of the risks the client causes. The second misperception is that when deviation occurs and it is documented who was at fault, the vendor and client will both blame each other and it will lead to litigation. In all the projects we have done, there has never been any valid issues or litigation which has occurred. We have learned that most disputes come from poor tracking of time and cost. Traditionally now, it's only towards the end of the project when time and money runs out that people start tracking the project. It's then that each party reactively looks backwards to the project's history to find potential events which can then be blamed on another party. It's in this process that litigation and legal issues occur. But again, if the project is tracked properly and weekly, it will become too hard for anyone to disagree. So in conclusion, to avoid legal disputes of project performance of time, cost, and quality, a simple plan and method to track a project is required. To learn more about the best value approach and the planning and tracking of projects, go to www.pbsrg.com to learn more.